Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bald Guy Ace. So ever since I posted my video of how I got 1000 salvage level on the Arkham Network Skyblock server, everybody's been messaging me in game and asking me, how did you get 1000 salvage? What did you do? What were the steps that you have to take? So most people know that in order to get 1000 salvage, you have to actually level up your repair and your fishing. So both repair and fishing have to hit 1000 in order for salvage to hit 1000. If you go over 1000 on either of those, it won't actually affect salvage anymore once you hit 1000 on the on fishing or repair. So both of those have to hit 1000. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to get fishing to level 1000 or higher if you want to, but only 1000 will help for getting 1000 salvage. So the main way to get 1000 fishing is to AFK fish. Fishing just takes way too long to level. And so the only way to get it to 1000 is to leave your Minecraft on AFK and just fish while you're sleeping or something like that. So in order to go AFK fishing, you need the auto fish mod. Not just that, but you're also going to need to set up macros. The reason for that is every few minutes the server will do what's called clear lag which is where all the objects that are left on the on the ground will disappear. The problem with this is that your line of your fishing rod counts as an item when clear leg happens. And so your line gets erased and the auto fish mod won't recast. So what you have to do is set up macros so that even when clear leg happens, the fishing rod will still recast. This is fairly simple to do and I'm going to explain it to you in this video. So in order to install both the auto fish mod and the macro mod, you're going to need to first install what's called light loader. That's just another mod that allows you to use both the fishing mod and and the macro mod. So all you have to do is go to Google, type in light loader, it's L-I-T-E loader, base Minecraft, and these websites will come up. What I'm gonna do is actually post the links to download them um, in the YouTube video itself, right below the video. But in case the they get updated or something like that, you can Google it, and that way you'll be able to get the latest version. So when you Google light loader Minecraft, then if you click on the second link that comes up here, you can go straight to their main website, which has download links. So you download whatever version you want, say you want this one, you would, if you're using 1.11, you would then download, I downloaded the EXE, it's just easier to install it. So you just download the EXE, you can download it wherever you, in, wherever you download your files to. For this scenario, I'm going to download it to my desktop. So before you run that, you can search for auto fish space Minecraft. That also comes up with a link. You can click on the first link for that. And then you can click right here, assuming you have 1.11. If you have an older version, you can download the older versions below and save that also uh, wherever you save your files. Then go to another window and search for macro mod Minecraft. And same thing with this, click on the first link here and then scroll down and you can download whichever version you have here and you can download that to wherever you save your files. So now you have all the files that you need. So you don't need these windows open anymore. After you have those files, what you want to do is run the light loader file first. Run that exe file and install light loader. Uh, it will ask you for your, to specify the directory where you have your Minecraft installed. All you have to do is do that and then you can just click OK and install it. It's fairly straightforward. After you have that installed, what you want to do is take the other two files and instead of double clicking on those files, what you want to do is actually move them. This is the macro mod and the auto fish mod and you want to move those files into your Minecraft mods folder. I'll write down below in the video where the typical Minecraft mods folder is located. Usually though, you would go to your users folder, whatever your computer is called. Mine is just my name. And so you'd say it's it's uh, your main computer directory or your C drive or whatever drive your, your files are on. Then users slash whatever your name of your computer is, then slash app data, and then slash roaming, then slash dot minecraft and then when you're in that folder then there should be a mods folder so you just have to open that mods folder there may be a version number if there's a version number then uh then click that version number and open that folder up then you want to click and drag the auto fish and the macro mod into the mods folder or into the version folder whichever one is the last folder while you're opening up fo folders whichever one is the deepest you want to paste those in so once you do that, you're all set with installing the mods. Then you just have to actually type out the macro to be used for the auto fish mod. So then you want to load up Minecraft. And if you installed the light loader as well as the auto fish and macro mods correctly, you'll see this little thing over here on the right side of the screen and you click it, it'll say light loader and it'll say right here that you have auto fish and that you have macro mod, macro slash keybind mod installed. 
So if you have those two things, then that means that it worked and they're both installed. So now you can click that away and you can log into RCAM network just like you normally would. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, I'm just gonna go into Skyblock, but you can go any, you can go into any server you want to on RCAM. Now, what you wanna do is set up the macros to work. You wanna to go to options, then controls, and then you scroll all the way down to the bottom. You'll see these settings for macro mod. I have this disabled. It doesn't really matter what settings you have for this at this point, you can change them later. But what you wanna do is go into macro settings. So you hit macro settings, and then you choose which keys you wanna to use to do your auto fishing with the macros. I, I chose R and G, you can choose anything you want. So let's start with G. This is the easiest thing you wanna do. All you have to do is type in this down here. Uh, I'm gonna put this code down in the YouTube description of the video. That way you can just copy and paste it in. Um, if you can't copy and paste it for whatever reason, just pause the video here and you can just see what it is and type it in. So that's all you have to do there. And then you hit save. What that button will do, uh, in my case, that was the G button, is it will stop the macro from running. Otherwise the macro will just continue to run forever and you don't really wanna do that. All right, so now that you have the stop macro portion set, this is the hard part. So now um, you can click on whatever letter you want to do the main auto fishing with. In my case, I chose R. And you wanna type down here, this thing here. There's a space here, space dot text, and then um, these things here, these symbols. Uh, you have to make sure it's exactly like this in order for it to work. So make sure that it's fishing macro, space dot text, like that. Then what you wanna do is go up here and click edit file. And I already have it created, but what you wanna do is type create new file and type phishing space macro space dot txt and then you hit create i already have it created so i'm not going to hit that but you hit create and then you'll go into it and it will be empty for you but what you want to do is take this whole section right here and type it in you can also you can copy and paste so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this in the description of the video down below so all you have to do is copy and paste it from my youtube video description into here and then you hit save but if you want to type it in yourself you can pause the video here and just go through and type this in, but you have to type it in exactly in order for it to work. So it's these dollar signs here with the brackets and enter and then this, and then you, you're actually, these are all semicolons here. And then you got to close it with the brackets and then the two dollar signs here. But the easiest way is just to copy and paste it from what I put in the description of the YouTube video. If you're not going to copy and paste it, just pause the video here and then type that in. After you copy and paste it, you just hit save. And then this should still be typed in here from before. Hit save again. And now you're all set. So what you want to do now is go to an AFK fishing area area. I have mine right here. And then you want to get your fishing rod out. You do that here. You want to make sure that the fishing rod is in the first spot because of the way the macro is set up. The fishing rod has to be in the first location of your items. Otherwise it won't actually work properly. So you put it in the first spot and then you hit here and you just do that. And then it starts doing its thing. And then when you want to stop it, you just hit, and in my case, I hit R to start it up. And in order to stop it, you hit G. And then as soon as you pull back in your rod, it won't do it again. If you don't hit G to stop it, it's just gonna keep going even if you pull back your rod and so that'll get really annoying. So make sure that you uh, that you do hit that stop button when you're done. Okay, now that we know that it works, what you wanna do in case you don't have a fishing setup for yourself, this is what you'd wanna do. You can make it as big as, as, big or as small as you want, but you need a pool of water here. Uh, all you have to do is just take buckets of water and put it into a location where there's one notch down below right here. But what you wanna do is set up hoppers See, I have hoppers below here. Then those hoppers go into a chest. In my case, I have them going into three chests. You can just have them going into one. It's however you want to do it. But then you, since you're going to be going AFK fishing, you're going to be catching a lot of stuff. So you need more than just one chest. So you have the hopper coming out of the chest, going into another chest, then coming out of there, going into another one, another one, same all the way down. So then what would happen is you fish. There's nothing in here because I haven't been doing it. But what you would do is you'd AFK fish for however long it, you'd go to sleep. You could do it for several hours, assuming that the server doesn't reboot. And then when you wake up in the morning, you you have all this stuff here and then hopefully all these chests will be filled you never know how much it'll be in a future video i'll show you how to use repair what you'll you'll find is that you'll start catching a lot of damaged gear you want to use that damaged gear and repair it that way you get your repair level up also so that's basically what i did to get repair 1000 but i i'll show you that in a more detailed video but basically that's how you get auto fishing to work and to get around the clear lag using macros a disclaimer here macros are only allowed for certain things on rcam network and they might not be allowed on at all on other 
other servers. So you want to be careful whether or not you use macros. On Archem Network, you cannot use macros for things like PvP. You can't use it for mining. You can't use it for killing mobs over and over again. So there's a lot of things you can't use macros for. So be very careful with that. Uh, there's no, there's nothing in the rules that I saw that said that you can't use macros for auto fishing. So I would assume that that means that you can use it since there's nothing saying that you can't. If I hear otherwise, I'll let you know in the descriptions of the video. If I don't, I guess I would assume that you can use it. So that's basically it. I hope that helped you out. Uh, I hope that everybody can get to 1000 fishing and therefore help yourself get to 1000 salvage. I hope you liked this video. If you did, it would be awesome if you could click like on it. Uh, and if you're not already subscribed, I know a lot of you are subscribed, but if you're not already subscribed, it would be really cool if you could click subscribe. I'm going to put a circle with my name on it right in the middle of the screen right there. If you can click that and click subscribe, that would be super awesome. That way you'll be able to find out when I post my future videos. I'm going to be posting a follow-up to this, which shows you how to level up your repair to 1000. So stay tuned for that. And until my next video, I'm Bald Guy Ace. And remember to embrace the baldness.